you how to put together the four wind shotgun. First you start with a one inch inside diameter pipe cap, six inches of galvanized pipe, threaded, one inch diameter, ten inches of three quarter inch inside diameter pipe, uh, doesn't, doesn't need the, the threads, a number 16 nail, uh, five eighths of an inch long, a half inch of one inch dowel with a hole board in it, uh, which will accommodate the nail, a piece of cardboard cut around so that it will fit inside here and keep the dowel from going inside the other one. Now, of course, the shotgun shell. You need a bit of uh, tape, duct tape that is, and a bit of sponge rubber and you can do most of your work with your, your hacksaw. And then of course you're gonna need a reamer, which is made from emery cloth, glued around a one inch, uh, one inch uh, diameter um, dowel. And what you use that for is you, just in case there's any irregularities in there, you do that until it goes in there real nice, see? Because you want it to be very smooth. And then if you've got protuberances on this, you can use it for that, like that. And then it uh, makes a great knife sharpener for the kitchen. And then of course, uh, to load it, you just put the pipe cap on. You don't want to make it too tight, doesn't need to be too tight. Then you take a shotgun shell, put it in there, and when you got okay, so you got it like that. Now you want to make it so you can carry it around and it's not going to flop up and down and fire. So you take about four inches of duct tape and you make it a good finger hole, fold it over there, and then you put it around like that. And then you have a piece of sponge rubber which goes over here like this. And then when you're going to use it, you pull this off, and I'm going to take this shell out because this is in the house. Now you've got it all ready to go, and you take this four inch by eight inch piece of sponge rubber with a backing of a quarter inch plywood, and you have this under your jacket like this, see? And that's going to absorb all of the concussion. And then you hold it like that, and the reason you got this is because the, when the shell fires, the heat will come up there and burn your hand. Not badly, but uh, it hurts, so you want to you don't want to be distracted by any pain. So you just pull it out a little bit, and there you've got it. And now this is the most fantastic weapon you can think of, and incidentally, it is all described step by step in uh, the first issue of uh, U.S. Militia. And uh, if you'll focus it down there, uh, they might even be able to read it from that. But I think it's so simple that uh, no one is going to misunderstand how to make it. And if you have a little different measurements, then uh, I don't think that should matter. You can test it, but make sure you do this. Uh, incidentally, if you're a lady and you're carrying this in your purse or whatever, then you can use this, you can use your purse instead of this. See, and that's for stalkers and just about anybody that gets in your way and wants to bother you when you're out. On this tape will be Carrie and I demonstrating the, t the gun so that you know that it works. And incidentally, you're going to see us taking it apart and throwing it to the four winds, uh, which is what you can do if you think anybody might be around to see you. Pull off the tape. Put the hand protector there. Well, anyway, it did, and there's hardly any recoil at all. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. Oh, watch you. Yeah. You, you want to fire one of my? I've never stopped. So yeah. try again.
Beautiful. That'll be on the saw that it does work. Now I use the pad and actually maybe you could do away with the pad because as you saw it can be do done just as well if you hold it right at your hip. Like that. Anyway, as far as the throwaway part is concerned, when you're done and you think maybe somebody might be watching, you just take it apart. Throw it every which way and you got no weapon. It was a drive-by shooting. <laughs>